I have President Johnson's golf ball. All right, so how do you know this is President Johnson's golf ball? Because he hit my dad with it down in Mexico. He hit your dad with a golf ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Came down to the pawn shop today to try to sell my Lyndon B. Johnson personalized golf ball. I'm trying to sell it today because it's just collecting dust. I'm asking for a couple hundred. I'll be happy with around 150. Give me the whole story from the beginning. President Johnson hit over the trees into my father and never yelled for her, so when it hit him, he bent over, picked it up, put it in his pocket. And when President Johnson came over, drunk off his ass, he goes, just keep the ball. When you're playing golf and you hit the ball towards someone else, you're supposed to yell, four, to warn them, even if you're President of the United States. <laughs> Did you sign it or anything, or? No, they just printed it up with his initials on there. It's definitely cooler than an autograph. A personal item of his, a lot less common than an autograph. At Johnson, he became president in 63 when Kennedy was assassinated. I personally believe he didn't run for re-election because he knew he couldn't win. But he got us so deep into the Vietnam War. LBJ did some good things when he was in office. He stood up for civil rights, even when other people in his party opposed it. But he also escalated the war in Vietnam, and a lot of guys died. Here's my concerns. Your dad said this was LBJ's ball. I don't know if you got the only one or if there's a thousand of them. I just don't know. Uh, what you want to do with it? sell it. How much did you want for it? I was hoping to get a couple hundred. <laughs> All right, let me get a buddy of mine in here. Let him look at it. He'll know exactly what it is the second he sees it. OK. Yeah, I love to buy stuff unique and related to presidents. Let me just figure out what it's worth, though. OK. okay. If I can prove this golf ball was owned by LBJ, there's no question I want it. But I don't know if there's really a way to prove it. It's not like he signed it. Hey, man, how's it going? The guys called me down to the pawn shop today because they have a golf ball that might have been used by President Lyndon B. Johnson, and I'm excited to take a look at it. A lot of the presidents played so many different sports over the history. I mean, you have Obama, who's big into basketball. Roosevelt was big into tennis. Reagan played football. Remember the Gipper? Of course. <laughs> Pretty much every president, especially modern presidents, play golf whether they like it or not. Lyndon B. Johnson is not known to be an avid golfer, but he did play for political reasons. I've seen a few golf balls from different presidents over the years. They don't come up too often on the secondary market, however. So, Rick, what are your concerns about this golf ball? I mean, I just have no idea how rare it is or if it's even real. Well, Rick, this ball, as you can see, it says True Sphere on it. It's got the number three, and it's got some scribble of what appears to be Lyndon B. Johnson's initials. I have seen this ball before without the initials, and normally what you would see right here where his initials are is the name of the company. It was a company called AJ, and they made balls during the 1960s, and they did all sorts of different things like bags and accessories, you know, commemorative items for like Jack Nicholas, Arnold Palmer, and so on. Basically, the question is, why are Lyndon B. Johnson's initials on this? With presidential items, once you're in the White House, you get all sorts of cool freebies. Anything from glasses, you know, pens, and in this case, he obviously got some golf balls. So do you think that was the president's golf ball? There's absolutely no way to be 100% sure. First of all, this company is no longer in business. And also, information with presidential items that they received as gifts in the 1960s wasn't recorded too well, not even in the archives. What I can tell you about it, based on other items I have seen from other presidents, it is true to the period, and I've never seen variations of them. So it does appear to be certainly genuine. All right, so what do you think it's worth? Based on items I've seen from uh, similar presidents like Richard Nixon around the same era, I'd probably put this right around five hundred dollars. Okay. Wow. All right, thanks for coming in, man. You I got appreciate it, it. Thanks a lot. You got it, Corey. Hey, man, the ball. The ball. All right, so how much you want for it? Well, since he said it's worth about five, like three. How about two and a quarter? You know, it'll sell, but um, it's not going to be a quick sell. You can do a 275. You know, it's President Johnson's golf ball. I'll tell you what, 250. We're not talking Ronald Reagan's football. We're not talking Kennedy. We're talking Johnson. 275, we got a deal. I'll go 250. That's the most I can go. I can live with 250. All right, 250. I settled for 250 on it. Now that I got some money, I'm going to take my wife out to dinner and maybe a show. Wow. This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95, and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.